Hello, Capricorn Go Babies. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Speak now. Forever hold your peace. I'm just kidding. You can hold on to your peace forever, my love. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I lit some new incense here for you and I was gravitating towards Palo Santo uh, 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 incense, an incense cone here. And I don't know if that's significant for you, but it feels like a very cleansing energy naturally because that's what Palo Santo does. It doesn't completely wipe away all of what you have done or all of where you have gone or what is all going on in your life or who's in there, but it does give a nice, beautiful reset energy that I feel like you might need. Capricorn, have you been having fun lately? I hope so. <laughs> Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups reversed and the Three of Cups here. Let's see what's going on with that. Oh, Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups, Nine of Nine of Swords upright and Eight of Cups reversed, my loves. Something about this feels like I gotta walk away from this, but I'm not ready to, I don't want to. Ooh, ooh, Capricorn, okay. Nine of Swords and the Devil card, I see it. Why, why, why is it so hard? Queen of Wands, because this is my everything. Wheel of Fortune. I want better for myself. I want a good turn of luck. I want things to change. I want fate. It like felt like fate. I trust in fate, but can I trust in fate? Like, can I trust? Two of Wands. I'm watching fate reveal itself and and re like man like not manifest, but show itself to me. And sometimes the way that the wheel turns, man, it just hurts. And I'm just watching and waiting watching and waiting and it's giving me anxiety capricorn is this you right now you feel left out you feel left out you love you feel abandoned capricorn this is a misunderstanding this feels like a misunderstanding a, a cosmic misunderstanding understanding a cosmic misalignment what does that mean that means that i don't know what that means emperor I want to give my best to this, or I want to receive my best. I want stability, structure, uh, commitment, resources, providership. Who's gonna protect me? I also want to protect. I have this desire to, and I can't. I'm bound, I'm restricted, I'm hung up. feel you honey there's a lot okay Capricorn there's a lot of feelings that need to be dealt with and need to be addressed here and let me tell you Capricorn it's not gonna be easy and some of you guys are groaning yes I've done so much when it comes to shadow work or maybe you haven't done enough some of you guys have been kind of avoiding it why because maybe responsibilities in life and previous engagements and everything that you've caught yourself into has kind of had you hung up so you're not kind of dealing with all of this shadow with all of this murky murk with the emotion that is sitting here in the belly in the pit and now spirit the universe the cosmos the planets will not allow they won't even align until you align with that so fate and the cycle, it's not that it's not, it's not that you're unlucky, it's the fact that you don't get to move forward until you deal with and address this. Subconscious, I don't wanna see the subconscious. I wanna let the subconscious stay sub. <laughs> Meaning, you don't want it to come up to the surface and you're doing everything in your power, Capricorn. Capricorn, in order to keep this. part of you wants to reach out a part of you wants to reconnect a part of you wants to fight not fight meaning argumentative but show up for the things that it is that you love look you're reaching out queen of pentacles is at the very top strength card here and the tower card what does that mean that means that your vulnerability is going to be your biggest strength right now but you don't want to be vulnerable because that means that you're going to be seen overly seen and that's what spirit is working to pry out of your hands but honestly that's where spirit wants you to pick you up and place you in as a space of being totally transparent and in tune with your feelings and your emotions and it's not there to judge you 
In fact, whatever it is that you're reaching out to, especially with Queen of Pentacles here, this is Earth energy, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well. Either this is you coming through again or you connecting with someone likewise. Um, it's like you guys are helping each other out or you are helping yourself out of a, a tangled up, emet, like you're all tangled up here and you need to be freed up. And the way to do that is by being transparent. Until then, we're going to be stuck in this jungle, jungle, juggle, that we're going to be stuck in this status, this limbo phase, and it's going to feel like a jungle. It's going to feel very scary. It's going to feel very tumultuous. We have the four of wands here reversed. We have the two of pentacles reversed. We have the two of swords. You can't control what other people are doing, but you can control what you do. And what are you going to do, Capricorn? I just heard, I need help. I know. And that's okay. Capricorn, ultimately what you want, my loves, honey baby, is four of wands. Four of wands. What does that mean? That means that who you're connecting with or what you're trying to align with or what you're trying to build with wants to build with you. And it's, it comes with respect. It comes with mutual, yes, apply past lessons. It comes with mutual respect, mutual love, mutual giving and receiving. It wants to be seen and heard. It's a conversation that you might be afraid to have. And you have to put down some things in order to build this, in order to stabilize this, because you, Capricorn, cannot and should not be doing everything all by yourself. Are you okay with that? Are you ready for that? New growth, time for nurturing. If you're not ready and if you're not okay with it, Capricorn, go into that garden space, open up to the spring energy and allow yourself to be restored and renewed right now because you need it and you want it. Yep, temperance card here is reversed. Judgment card here is reversed, the star card. It's in your ability to see the fact that this isn't working, but what is this? What is this? What is this? Sometimes it's not the external is not working or that it's not a match. Sometimes it's the internal is mismatched. This means that there's this healthy level of coming back into yourself um, and having a, a, a judgment call, an awakening, an awakening, especially when it comes to apply past lessons. This is not you being judged right now harshly at all, I promise you. This is just the fact that there are certain things that you have done in the past that didn't work out and you don't want to repeat them here right now and that's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. That's why the Wheel of Fortune showed up because it says, listen my love, sit with me, sit with spirit, sit with yourself and really come, come to a head, come to alignment and harmonize with this Four of, four of Wands energy. This is soulmate, twin flame, connection and union that wants to build that wants to bud this is under the light of the full moon and at the time of me filming this you guys we have capricorn full moon right around the corner but this this is a massive space of healing that is occurring within your life and honestly i don't know if i see you doing it all by yourself i see you um having new growth but in this area of your life that connects to the four of wands so you are creating a garden space I mean, there's so much energy here that is not solo dolo. You have two of pentacles here, you have two of swords. You have the temperance card, okay? The only thing that I'm seeing that is individual, which is not even individual, it's showing the energy here. It's just showing, listen, someone, something wants you to be vulnerable, wants you to be transparent, and it wants you to, to show up for yourself and, and claim what is yours and then find a way to make it work out. Look, my loves, Knight of Pentacles, the Death card here upright and the King of Cups reversed. So this requires a certain level of vulnerable communication and transparency, but you can't do that if you're all locked up. In fact, I feel like you're really scared to kind of let your guard down. What do we have here? Yes. We have the coffin card here. We have the fish card here, which represents abundance and wealth, and also the ship card. The, sh the ship and the fish were reversed, but I don't necessarily read. Yeah, my loves, there's a book here. There's more to this. There's more to this connection, and there's more to this energy 
that I just don't know if you and your emotions, there's more to your feelings. There's more from your feelings. You can't just turn your back to them. I mean, you can, but it's you want to apply the past lessons because when you've turned your back in the past, how did that play out for you? And also, don't take the past lessons or t past circumstances and throw them into the situation and say, this is a repeat. Because clearly, something is being broken out of your psyche. Clearly, something is being broken out of your perspective. And you kind of have to do things differently. It's the subconscious. You have this expectation that being locked up and being bound and, you know, it's going to stabilize things and but honestly it feels like it's kind of numbing and suppressing and pushing it back and spirit says no no let's not do that let's see it let's let's face it let's deal it let's heal with it because what is the four of wands for you my loves there's more to those feelings your feelings go really really deep your feelings go really really deep here and spirit is asking you to ask I just heard spirit is asking asking you to ask us meaning wow growth and abundance here you really genuinely want um, a connection or this thing this thing that you've rooted this garden a relationship you really want it to you want to bring it to fruition you want to see it grow you want to see it manifest that's the truth and I think the way to do that is by having a very good look into yourself trust in your power your power is your strength your strength is your vulnerability your strength is your heart the feelings that is that you're feeling the signs that is that you're seeing question your reality question your logic and come back into the body come back into the heart and come back into your intuition and bring life Ooh, heal the past bring life look how much energy is connected to the past there's something that you're not ready to let go of and there's a reason why ask yourself why and then ask yourself where are we now going I love this message for you, Capricorn. Please let me know if it resonates by hitting that thumb up button or let me know down in the comments. Make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos <laughs> where this came from, Capricorn. Look within. There's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason why it lingers. Because you love it. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.